Oh, hey. These are Gabe and Former Magazines. This is my collection organized. Well, part of it. There's more of it. That's what I've collected so far. Now, I don't even know how to show you this. Stacks, more stacks, even more stacks. It really never ends. Actually, it does end, that's it. Now what I've gotta do is go through all of these, organize them into here with ones I don't have, set the doubles aside, and then we're gonna go trade the doubles in for some game store credit. Stick around. All right, we were at one of my favorite game stores here in Phoenix called Fallout Games. And on last week's episode, we traded some stuff in here and it actually ended that video with $80 trading credit left over. So whatever we get for these magazines today will be a nice addition to that 80 bucks. I don't know how this is gonna go. It should be interesting. I'm hoping for at least a dollar a piece, but who knows how it's gonna go. They could offer me way less. As long as it's not like 10 cents a piece or something like that, I'm probably gonna take it uh, just to add on to that credit we already have. And we're gonna buy some video games today no matter what, because we're already starting the day positive 80. Let's go. They're counting them up now. I'm just checking out the Game Boy games again. There's some stuff I think that wasn't here last time. I don't know, maybe I'm making it up, but I don't remember seeing this game with the spaceship. It looks awesome. It's only 15 bucks. Mm. But I think we're gonna probably end up going to a couple other stores. There's a 3DO game here in the box. I don't know if it was here last time. I just missed it or if it's new. I think it only says like 10 or 20 or something on it. It's a golf game. It looks like 10. Yeah. Definitely gonna get that if it is. 225 bucks you want. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> you tell me how much it has on it. I can, I can just barely see it. How much does it say? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll take that, please. Buffalo Burger. Okay, so that went pretty well. I only left with a 3DO game from this location because we're going to go to a couple other stores today, but uh, it went way better than I could have thought. $1.75 a piece for the basic Game Informers and then a couple bucks for some of the other random magazines that I put in there. There was a stack of like, I don't know, hit the unlock button. There's a stack of stuff that just wasn't in great condition that they didn't take, which is fine. You know, stuff with creases, understandable. Uh, but I ended up with about $175 credit. So with that, the credit left over, oh, it's not written on the receipt, the balance. I got like, 260, 270 bucks, something like that. So that was enough to buy that Pokemon Sapphire game in there. Ooh, it's tempting, but we gotta go look at those other stores first. Hannah just made a pretty awesome discovery. I didn't even notice, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even check inside the store. This, the game inside the box is sealed. That's pretty wild. Very nice, very, very nice. Woo. All right, we're at Fallout Games number two. We have been to this Fallout Games on this channel, but it has been, I would say, well over a year since we have. But stick around. Will we spend all the credit here or will we go on to the next one? There is another one in town. Actually, there's two more. We're not gonna go to one of them this time because we went to it last time along with the one we just came from. But there's one after this we plan on going to unless we spend it all here. We'll see. We could, if there's something we gotta have. There's a lot more Game Boy games here in the box, but honestly, it kind of all looks like nonsense. The only one set aside is Pocket. We already have that. I don't see anything we gotta have. I could just buy it all, because I could. <laughs> what do you think? Well, they've got some good nostalgia stuff here. You got Pirates of the Caribbean, you got Tarzan, you got wild thornberries. We have pirates. We don't have wild thornberries or Ghostbusters. I think Ghostbusters is a contender, 40 bucks. $50 for Star Wars Obi-Wan. We'll think on it. I check out this 3DO game, top left. It's been a while since I've ever heard anyone ask for a 3DO game. <laughs> uh, I sold like, one. I had it priced at like $10, and it ended up being like an $80 game now. Yeah, it's probably because he was sitting around yeah, so sitting long. Along, yeah. it, they went up, yeah. I, I actually bought a couple that way, and I, and I didn't know. I got home and looked them up, and I was like, shoot. Yeah, that's how, that's how it's yeah, been, man. I'll take that, please. All right, cool, man. Thank you. I'm going to keep looking. You don't have any more of those hiding anywhere, do you? I might have some, like, evil, like... Sorry, they're, they're not in the big box. Don't worry about it. Okay. 
that's what you were, were after the 64. I was working at our Phoenix store yesterday. And, yeah, and they had one, at least as of yesterday. They totally could have sold it this morning, but they didn't give them a call for it if they want. Holy crap, dude, that's the same game, just super rough. Oh, baby. 60 bucks. I might have to get those, but they have the manual for it too. I might, I might pass it if it doesn't have the manual. Need for Speed. Twisted, we already have. It's too deep for speeds. Theme Park. DJ Tour. Apparently a popular game. <laughs> That's crazy. There's like three or four times copies of it. All right, well, we're definitely getting the 3DO stuff, you think? Yeah. Can you get a second? I'm in no hurry. I have so Digimon Battle Arena 2. I really want that. Um, this Digimon game down here. Oh shit, there's 3DO games right here. They're all over the place. Quarantine, that's timely. Road Rash, Mega something. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> and then the most engaged games I've ever seen. Ever, ever. Yeah, there's three of them. Let me check those out real quick. Alright, which one? There's three. didn't collect them but I found a big stack of them at a Goodwill and I collect a bunch of other stuff so I was like well I'm gonna keep them and now I've bought I've pretty much bought all of them at all all the stores in town nobody else wants them so I went and got them all how much is it up to I got a total there so we got the PGA tour you're looking at 257 okay we're well, good I think I'm right at it $264 in total on 98 cents. Okay, I've got store credit at the Tempe store. Right, cool. This is the game, right? Let me double check it. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Well, uh, this has been the most confusing thing about 3 video games. They come packaged in Different. infinite number of ways. Yeah. Hard plastic cases, hard cardboard boxes, soft cardboard boxes. Yeah, I know. And it's apparently like a taxi driver kind of game. I have no idea what it is. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, I, I just saw it. I was like, oh, it's probably some horror game, but I read the description. It's like driving, it said driving a cab in town is hell or something like that. Well, you have 235.50 over there. Okay. You just want it all over Yeah, there. just all over there. You must have been a lot of trade. I traded in just an ungodly number of magazines over there. No. <laughs> you stood there and counted them all. I kind of felt bad for him, but he was very helpful. All right. I'd say that went pretty well. I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, three DO games and one Xbox game, and I'm very happy about it. We did well, actually, one more three DO game. I forgot about the one for the last one. I own almost all of the three DO games from all the game stores in town, except for this one. Still has a few left over that don't have their manuals in them, and I was really torn on them. I ended up buying one that didn't have the manual because it was so awesome. I just had to have it. So. Let's uh, let's go eat some food, and then let's go home and talk about all these games I just bought. I'm super pumped. <laughs> okay, we are home, and we are going to talk about this bag full of games and what we picked up. Uh, but before we get into that, I want you guys to consider joining our Discord. It's completely free. If you don't know what Discord is, 
Some people think it's just a gaming app. It's not. It's just a place where you can come chat with our thrifting community. It's real easy to sign up. You just do so by clicking the link below. And you can come chat and both show us what you found at the thrift, as well as see what other people found from, from the thrift, as well as chat about each daily video. Every day that we post video, there's usually some chat going on about some topic that's happening here. And, you know, here in the YouTube comments, you can certainly comment and please continue to do so. But you can't post pictures. You can't really get too in-depth in a YouTube chat forum. But over on our Discord, you can. So pretty please, go join that today. I promise, it's worth your time. It's also a really neat way to keep up with the other stuff that Hannah and I do that doesn't always make it onto these videos. But check this out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 3DO games and one Xbox game been a long time since I've used credit for Xbox game. I don't go too hard on Xbox stuff currently because it's just not, I don't know, it's just, it, it's definitely something that deserves more attention than I give it, but it's not something I've gone after too hard. I don't know if that's because I'm not as nostalgic for it or what, but what I do buy on Xbox is very often the, uh, the stuff that I collect other stuff for. So you see this here, it's, this shelf here is actually being overtaken by Furby but it's normally my Digimon shelf. So that will live at home right there. That once I move some Furby out of the way, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> the Furby are taking over every aspect of my life. But what I actually figured we'd do today is uh, go ahead and scan these games into my collection, talk about what I paid for them compared to what maybe price charting saying. That's usually just a small component of what we're doing. Uh, it, it doesn't matter so much, but it is often interesting. And I would pick this one to start with. I kid you not, I've never seen this. 3 video game with no barcode. None. A lot of times it's under there. It was a sticker there that has been removed. So we can go on to this one. And as I go through these games, pretty please, if you know anything about these games, definitely comment below and let me know if you think I should play them. And I'm definitely going to tell you the ones I feel like I should play. This one got me when I saw it in the store. It's Quarantine, and I thought... Okay, that's fitting, right? Uh, quarantine, we just got out of one. That's kind of cool. It's a taxi driving game. Hello? Why though? <laughs> Why? It literally says quarantine, driving a cab in this town is murder. I guess because the town, look at the gameplay on the back. I guess the town is a uh, zombie apocalypse thing going on. The price charting has it at $44. I paid $45, so I bet a lot of these are spot on. It's just what's happened a few times, and I didn't even know this, but when I bought the games, they these games, no one kind of cares about. I feel like I'm rescuing these 3DO games. Now, I know some of you care about 3DO, and you're going to think that's sacrilege, but literally, I've had so many people here in town, when I've said, hey, I'm here looking for 3DO games, I've had people say, really? Like, they've really been confused as to why I would be looking for them. So that being said, I've been going around all the game stores in town and rescuing these 3DO games with my store credit. And uh, because of that, I've bought a couple that were priced at $25 because they've been sitting there for four or five years. And the prices have went up since they put them on the shelves. I get home and I look them up and they're cons considerably higher because of recent inflation and stuff. So Road Rash, that's a game some of you might know. That's definitely not exclusive to this system, I believe. This has $40 on price charting and I just ripped the sticker off like I wasn't about to look at it. Uh, I paid 40, so we're right on with number two. I really like the look of the, the art and stuff on these boxes. I don't know what it is, but I love them. Uh, golf here was in the lockbox at that first store. It's the only one I bought at that store. Uh, 10 bucks. Feel that, Hannah. Doesn't that feel extra thick? It's very thick. I'm actually a little bit concerned about them fitting in my plastic protectors. Last week, I did drop a link below the video for these uh, protectors. But the guy who sold them to me on eBay is no longer there, so I can't... Uh, well, he's there, but he's no longer selling them. I guess he's out. I don't know really what's going on. But uh, maybe next time we talk about 3DO games, I'll post a link. But I'm almost out of them. I don't know if we even have enough for the games I brought home today. We'll, it, we'll see here in a minute. But I'm actually worried about this big one fitting in there. Oh, like a glove, baby. Mm. This is the chunkiest 3DO game we have. <laughs> I'm not going to stand here and put all these on camera now. I'm just doing this one because I was really worried about it fitting. It's a little bit bigger than the case, feel it. You feel it like flexing the case. Oh yeah. It's a cheaper plastic though, so. It's tubby. Yeah, it's a tubby <laughs> one. But yeah, uh, $8 on price charting, whatever. No big deal. Golf, not expecting any bangers here. $9.90, uh, I paid 12 for it, fine with that. Uh, Blade Force is probably the one that just because of the artwork and stuff, 
feel I feel like it's demanding that I play it now. Which side note, I had to fess up to this last video that we brought home some 3DO. I do not have a 3DO. First video I brought some home, I said I did. I had it confused with the CDI. I had a CDI, not a 3DO. So $16 price charting. Paid 25, about what you'd expect with inflation going on. Uh, this Mega Race one, not having a barcode, we're gonna have to type in Mega Race and search it. And it comes up $48. And I paid 40. So we're we're tracking right on here. Now I think this is actually gonna be the one that we have to have a discussion about because I did pay, what do we pay? 45 for it? Yeah. He marked it down a little bit, and I wasn't complaining. I wasn't really trying to get him to mark it down. I just really wasn't gonna buy it because it didn't have the manual, and I'm trying really hard to be a good collector of 3DO and get the more completed box, but he talked me into it with that $45. Price charting has it at 90, and I paid 40 without the manual. Do you think that was good? Do you think it was bad? Comment below, let me know. I am bummed it doesn't have the manual. I hope to find it one day. But the reason I did end up going ahead and grabbing this one is simply because, tell me, Hannah, if you disagree or agree, tell me that doesn't look good. It looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, this might end up being, at least with box art and stuff, my favorite 3DO game currently. Uh, not quite my most valuable one yet. I guess just because we kind of did this last time. We did a trading haul and I bought 3DO games. I kind of just showed off exactly our 3DO collection as it is. So... Let me add all of these. And since they're added to the collection, I can now go back and we can look at just my 3DO collection. I don't know if you're interested in this, but I do kind of like seeing them all at once. 22 games total. A couple of them aren't shown up here on the shelf because I have one or two that are loose, but almost all of them otherwise are in box. So uh, for some reason, this is confusing. Oh, okay. I This gave me a heart attack. If you look here on my CLZ games on the screen, <laughs> it's saying that these games are worth like double. It's because I scanned them in as brand new sealed. But it's fine. <laughs> I'll end up going and changing them. But here's what I've got so far. Cannon Fodder, Road Rash. Just a whole list of games so you can see them. Uh, that's it. I'm a 3DO collector now. I would say even a Die Hard one. I will, after this video, go change those back down from new to just complete in box. Uh, but I'm happy with today's haul. Hannah and I both wanted to come home with some Game Boy games, but we just kind of both are in agreement that like these 3 deal games that are there right now are going to be among the last ones to really live in these game stores. Which is another really interesting topic. People right now are like, go buy PS3 stuff because it's going to go. And that's not untrue. That's kind of what's going to happen, right? Because, you know, PS3's market store is going offline and... There's a lot of other things, but there really is kind of this cycle of some older generations, especially this stuff that, you know, 3DO wasn't as big as PlayStation, right? So that stuff really is going to get hard to find. And I really want to get more, as much of it as I can right now. I feel a huge urgency for it. And I love my Game Boy stuff. Don't get me wrong. We will continue to try really hard to crank out regular trade-in haul videos. We're trying our hardest to do it every Monday forever. But if we don't have stuff to trade in, obviously, it's not going to happen every Monday. So expect some lulls in that regard. But as long as we have trade-in credit, we will be bringing Game Boy games home. But I think for now, Hannah and I both agree. Hannah, speak up if you disagree. But right now, we're really feeling these 3DO games. I feel like we have to get them while they're, while they're there. And Hannah was telling me she's bugged that the 3DO shelf's not full. I think today we did it though. Uh, do you think so? I think I, so. I think to wrap up this video, we have to see. Why don't you come back here and I'll get down all these. These are my only inbox in 64 games. <laughs> and my inbox Super Nintendo and I think a couple NES games. I've just kind of been putting inbox stuff up there. But will will this be a full shelf? Will it be? What if it's one too many? That's I think might bug me more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we're still a couple short, actually. No. I think between the pegs I haven't taken out and what space is there, I think we can fit like four more. Well, I guess we have to get four more. So yeah, well, there's still one Fallout games here in town that we haven't made it to yet, and uh, hopefully they've got a that that's that last store we went to had the most I've seen in a Fallout. So hopefully next week we'll go to another Fallout and they'll have way more uh i don't know though we'll see how it goes definitely subscribe make sure those notifications are on to find out what we do do in our next trade in haul video we might actually end up be going to another chain of stores for the next week or couple of weeks that's almost definitely not going to have 
any 3DO games. I've never seen any there. But they do have Game Boy games. So maybe we'll just flip-flop back to Game Boy games for a little while. You guys comment below. Let me know if you've traded in anything recently. Has any of our content here inspired you to do any trading in? Listen, expand your mind. This kind of trading stuff works a lot differently, I think, than some of you might think that it does. You might see us doing this. Go, oh, man, I, you know... Uh, but we're just trying to prove there's a different way, really, with this series. Because last week's episode, we traded Lego. This week, magazines. And a couple more things in the next couple of weeks should be, if things go according to plan, just as weird. So, uh, go out and check your local stores and see if they're looking for anything you have for trade. Because I very rarely have actually traded video games for video games. That's that's the obvious thing. We're, we're doing something a little different here, though. Hit the subscribe button before we go. Like I said, at the top of this clip... Go check out our Discord. Pretty please. I'd really, really appreciate it if you'd all go join and hang out with us over there. Now, before you do go, you can click on this video. It will show you our latest Minecraft shenanigans, but only click if you're into Minecraft or you're just into shenanigans, because that's what's going on there. Click on this video here. Check out us playing some Super Smash, and then click this video right here. That's not a video. Click this circle. It should be my face in cartoon form, and it will get you subscribed if you're not already. Until next time, guys, peace out.